over the, the country. Uh, she made, I'd just finished the meal, the phone rang, and I was called back to my police station, uh, which was Springburn Police Station in Glasgow. Uh, I was actually one of the officers in charge of an organisation there uh, called the, the, the Strathclyde Police Support Unit, uh, and we provided support uh, uh, to, to territorial divisions of, of Strathclyde Police and other forces, uh, high crime areas, anything, crowd control and uh, major incidents such as, as this one. Uh, so I went back to my police station, I called in as many of my men as I could contact and we got into vehicles and we come down, uh, arriving at Lockerbie uh, in the early hours of the morning. Um, th th there were still fires burning. Uh, my the, the, the strongest uh, memory I have of, of, of that day and, and, and the following days at Lockerbie was the smell of aviation fuel in the air. Uh, it, never, it never leaves me when I drive through Lockerbie. Uh, it, that's the thing that still comes back to me. Um, we, for the first day, to be quite honest, it was pretty chaotic, as you might expect. Nobody really knew what to do, I didn't think. Uh, and we were directed here, there and everywhere. We'd, we'd, we'd be told to go to one place and then nothing would happen. Uh, at one stage I went to, I was told to go to the mortuary, which at that time was in the Lockerbie Town Hall, um, which is a, an old Victorian building and totally unsuited for the purpose of a mortuary. Uh, I remember hearing some of the pathologists who were there complaining. Um, although I didn't see it, apparently I think a, a, a body had been uh, taken upstairs 